when do I consider having surgery versus more filler? Fillers, they do exactly what their name says. They add volume. So anytime that volume is the issue, then it's going to help out dramatically in improving a result. Mm -hmm. However, if volume is only part of the issue, then it's not going to deliver a, a full result. And so it's really important to think through anatomically, really from the skeletal structures all the way up to the top layers of skin, about what's creating, say, aging or a wrinkle or a, a contour irregularity. Because once you know all those different layers, then you can have a, a treatment plan that's going to generate the result that they're looking for. No, and that's funny. And that comes back to our training too, where we're a craniofacial surgeon. And the way I see it is like, we know the skeleton is extremely important. I always refer to it as the foundation. So if we have like good foundation, the bone is in the proper mm -hmm. place, uh, we're going to be able to drape like, the walls, you know, in a much more effective way. Uh, that's why, you know, sometimes uh, facial implants, chin implant, genioplasty, jaw surgery, uh, will have an anti-aging uh, mm -hmm. effect mm -hmm. uh, because we bring the skeleton forward. So when we think about aging, it's always, you know, deflation, which where the fat and the fillers will come into play. And as, after that is gravity, right? The skin descent. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately with fillers, we could help with that to a certain extent and trick the eyes. Uh, but oftentimes it needs a surgical intervention where the skin that has aged and has lost its elasticity needs to be lifted and um, mm -hmm. properly um, resected.